when she you know heard the the idea and the concept she just said yes and she gave her voice and then obviously mr bachchan mm-hmm. unke to kya kehne he was an institution in himself i learned so much from him during satyam shivam sundaram mm-hmm. and then prem rog mm-hmm. so it was a beautiful journey for me actually my entire career was a beautiful uh, experience mm-hmm. beautiful journey hum hindustani aashna ke wo sitare hain jo isi jagmagayenge Thank you so much for taking out time for this Padmini ma'am. We are so happy to have you joining with us on E-Times. Thank you. I'm so happy to be part of this. A huge congratulations for Dhamaka Records. Priyank and you have been looking forward to Thank launch you. Yeah. And Priyank and you have been looking forward to launch your music label with something really special and with Hum Hindustani we can all say it was a successful launch. how does it feel yes it feels great it feels superb because you know i mean uh, the the record label is called dhamaka records so uh, i think this couldn't have been more dhamakedar exactly <laughs> don't you think so yeah uh, did you did you manage to see the the, I uh, see the, the video song. i've you... seen the video i love the lyrics it's too kind sober and a very much needed song i would say Yes, absolutely, and it's very straight. You know, nothing complicated. Not yeah. sort of, uh, you know, too much of uh, tam jam. Not too much of music. Simple. Too much of visuals. It's like so yeah. real, actually. You know, true. And uh, you know, it's the sort track of is so real. To, the yeah, that's what I was saying. And it sort of managed to give me goosebumps too. I mean, it's a very touchy song and good lyrics. I would say. Yes, yes, very nice, lovely lyrics. I mean, everyone is asking who's the writer, who's who's the lyricist, mm-hmm. and who's put the music together. And you know, it's just, it's just something. Just, uh, I mean, it's just a divine grace, basically, the way things have unfolded since mm-hmm. the time we decided to do this song. So my next question was about that. Ki Hum Hindustani is a very beautiful song with the culmination of some of the finest voices. the lyrics are very touchy and i heard your voice after so long so what was the creative process in bringing everything together and the idea of bringing voices from all generations like there's asha ma'am singing there's sonu ji there's you there's shraddha there's tara like everybody from all of the generations joining yeah so unfortunately there's no asha ma'am i wanted asha atya because mm-hmm. uh, i mean asha bhosle Uh, yeah. the voice i mean you know we wanted yeah. her very desperately but she had few commitments and then you know she's been mm-hmm. uh, staying in lonavla for a while for i mean the entire uh, pandemic uh, mm-hmm. so it was a little difficult to kind of coordinate with her and we really missed her voice mm-hmm. uh, but we have of course uh, lata ji's voice uh, yeah yeah uh, so yeah so her voice and you know i'll i'll be very honest we didn't plan it the way it has turned out it was just a track that came to priyank and paras uh, priyank my son and paras mehta they are both partners uh, partnering on this project dhamaka records mm-hmm. so um it wasn't planned and then suddenly it just came to priyank you know he, he just thought that i mean it's my father dad i mean he calls him daddy also yeah uh, pandarinath kolapure my father uh being a musician a singer uh, him his father that's my grandfather that's priyank's great grandfather uh-huh. you know so since we come from a musical background he said we are related to the uh, lata ji and asha ji and you know so he said i want to start my track with uh, lata ji and asha ji mm-hmm. and i said wow that would be great if you can manage to do that yeah. and that's how you know uh, he got cracking on this and he spoke to didi apya i mean uh, you know and lata ji and yeah. he got an uh, he got a because didi apya is not uh, lata ji is not singing i mean she's not lending her voice anywhere mm-hmm. but she immediately when she you know heard the the idea and the concept mm-hmm. uh, she just said yes and she gave her voice and then obviously mr bachchan mm-hmm. unke to kya kehne Yeah, and then 
you know, and then uh, when uh, sort of uh, Kailash Ji, Kailash Kher, uh, you yeah. know, he sang a beautiful, he gave a beautiful rendition for my father's charitable trust, which is Reena Vardaini. You know, he agreed to come on board because that time, you know, things were so bad and Reena Vardaini is a charitable organization and my sister Tejaswini Kolapure is taking it forward. So, you know, there's Veena Vardaini on one side, which is doing great work for classical singers, for the, you know, people who are, uh, you know, classically inclined. And mm -hmm. here Priyank, you know, he's taking Dhamaka records, which is like, will have all the genres. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, so Kailash Ji came on board and then Sonu Nigam and Alka, obviously he's a friend, she agreed. So it, it kind of came together. And then obviously Shraddha, today's generation, you know, Shraddha yeah. Siddhant and uh, Tara, Sonakshi, so, who's a friend of yeah. Priyank, Tara. So all these people, you know, just kind of agreed instantly to be part of this. They love the lyrics. They love the simplicity of the song. And mm -hmm. um, well, the rest is history. I mean, people are loving it. People are, are yeah. giving such beautiful comments. So, you know, I would want to rewind a little. You have done almost everything there is to do in the creative field of cinema, music, theater, and television. So which role gave you the most amount of creative satisfaction and which was the one which felt a little challenging? Challenging was in South Katarazu, for sure, mm -hmm. because of the whole uh, dynamics of the, you know, the rape scene and the the being the victim and you know it was such a bold and in those times I mean today it's no no great shakes you know to make a film like this and you have such bold films being made yeah but uh, yes in Safka Tarazu was pretty challenging for me mm -hmm. and uh, and the beautiful journey was Prem Road uh, mm -hmm. I loved working with Raj Uncle with Raj Kapoor and uh, I mean, he was an institution in himself. I mm. learned so much from him during Satyam Shivam Sundaram mm. and then Prem Rog. Mm -hmm. so it was a beautiful journey for me. Actually, my entire career was a beautiful uh, experience, oh. beautiful journey. Mm -hmm. But which was that one thing which gave you a lot of satisfaction? Was it cinema? Was it music? Or was it theater? Uh, you know, my family has been part of theater, music. Mm -hmm. and uh, well films I mean that's where I came onto the scene my mm -hmm. grandfather uh, Krishna Rao Kolhapure he had a he had a theater company with uh, Master Dinanath Mangeshkar called Balwan Natak Company there were three yeah. partners Chintaman Rao Kolhapur uh, Master Dinanath and my grandfather mm -hmm. so they were uh, theater uh, you know big gudge so to speak uh, yeah. legends I mean they did and in those days you see you didn't have um, uh, women uh, so many women on stage you know yeah. ladies were not really uh, allowed then and you know it was very conservative mm -hmm. so these guys and uh, guys well my grandfather yeah. uh, and Dinanath Mangeshkar and they played they played uh, feminine roles literally in saris and everything mm -hmm. and uh, you know um, Lataji Didi uh, my aunt she has actually named all three of us Shivangi was one of the characters played by Pandit, you know, with Master Dinanath Mangeshkar in one of his plays. Padmini was one role he played, and Tejaswini was one role he played. So we all three have got names after the characters played by Master Dinanath, and so yeah. uh, so that's where theatre had a great impact on us, on our family. Then came music because my grandfather played the Rudra Veena, which is like kind of getting extinct now, and my sister Tejaswini is taking. Uh, Rudra Veena forward well Veena players um, she's encouraging uh, Veena yeah. Vadan through Veena Vardayani yeah. and uh, and then uh, I did movies I got into movies but yes my first love was singing I wanted to become a play playback singer that's where I started actually my journey I sang in movies and I wanted to become a playback singer and then Destiny had its had another story for me yeah and and i'm i loved every minute of it every bit of it so we can also say priyank is following in the illustrious footsteps of your you know legendary family with his music career so how do you support him and have you brought him up telling him stories of his grandfather grand aunts and lineage uh you know uh 
I didn't have to uh, do that because we, my parents lived with me uh, since we have no brother. So my parents lived with uh, uh, me as in me, my husband and my son. Mm-hmm. So my son has grown up uh, listening to my dad and watching him sing and teach. Uh, so you know how like they say naturally children, you know, it gets inculcated in, in them, whether it's music or whatever your grandparents are doing, whether it is values, whether it is anything, anything for that matter. Mm-hmm. So uh, it, it kind of naturally imbibed into him uh, seeing me uh, being an actor, uh, going for my shootings, and mm-hmm. he came to my Marathi shoot, Chimni Pakra. Mm-hmm. He watched me shoot. So and it was not that you know we told him that you have to become an actor, or you have to become a singer, or mm-hmm. a musician. Uh, I mean, I took him to every possible class to see what he was interested in, right? From skating to swimming to kickboxing to karate but eventually I got to know much later that he was he was uh, doing the dramatics in school and uh, he was inclined towards that and his teacher said he's brilliant I mean you know he's just uh, he's a natural actor and Mm -hmm. he's very creative Mm -hmm. and then of course then we started encouraging him in that way so he Mm -hmm. went to he went to Lee Strasberg he learned acting and then he came back he didn't want uh, me to kind of he didn't want to use the Padmini Kolapure tag that, you know, everywhere he went uh, mm. to struggle for a movie. Mm-hmm. And he then obviously, uh, you know, uh, the lyricist Samir Sahab, he, okay. uh, I don't know, I don't know, I can't remember clearly, you know, he recommended Priyanka very strongly to the, uh, Nitin Manmohan, whose uh, film he did, Sahab Kushal Mangal. And that was his first film as an actor. Mm. And I watched him perform and... Uh, you know, I, I and I wasn't a typical mother crying. Oh, my beta, what a go- great job you've done. Nothing of that. So I was just very happy the way he performed. I was very proud of him. Mm. And I said, because I'm the, I'm his worst critic. He says, mom, I can never please you. I can never please you. Okay. I said, well, that's how it is. I mean, you have critics in your house. So have you and, ever been, uh, yeah, you were saying something. Yeah, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, I wanted to talk about that only. Really. Like, have you ever been a helicopter mom to Priyank? Like, you know, interfering and then being emotionally invested in everything he does and things like that in a good way? Not really, not really. But yes, I was totally involved in everything he did. Hmm. Um, see, because I mean, I gave up my work. So it's not like I was a working mom then. Mm-hmm. I started uh, getting back into acting at when he was like 13, 14 or 14, 15. And oh. he at that age, can you imagine, said, mom, you've given me the time I needed when I needed you most. Mm-hmm. So now you can just get on with your work. And why don't you go out and work? You know, so many other mothers, I see they're working. Yeah. And I said, Priyank, for me, work is acting. So he said, yeah, go ahead and act. And mm-hmm. I said, it's going to require a lot of my time. I'll be away from you. And, you know, so this is mm-hmm. fine. I'm okay. Mm-hmm. And of course, my parents were there to look after him. So that was a okay. great so, help. Yeah. So do you feel making a comeback today would be easier as compared to 2003 when you returned to acting? No, not, not really. I mean, uh, it's not like I decided to make a comeback, in, mm-hmm. you know, then. Uh, it's, you know, Chimri Pakra, this Marathi film, Mahesh Kothare came to me with this uh, script yeah. and he said, and I hadn't done any Marathi movie. And I was very excited and thrilled. And I said, yes, this is the time I have to, you know, give yeah. back to my Marathi community, Maharashtrians, being in Mumbai, being a Maharashtrian. Mm-hmm. And I felt I should do this now. And I loved the subject. I loved the role. Mm-hmm. And this, this film was actually to be made uh, in two languages, Hindi and Marathi. Oh. Uh, Hindi never saw the light of day. So Marathi has created quite a few records so mm-hmm. i mean even today a lot of maharashtrians come to say oh you know Tumsa Chimri Pakra Paila. Oh, we cry and we still cry and we can't stop crying watching mm-hmm. so well that's nice so you started your career at seven and by 15 you were already a leading lady how do you feel about starting so young you know it wasn't planned. I didn't think about it and not that it was planned that, oh, I want to sort of now become a leading lady. I was, 
I was very happy doing uh, films as a child actor. I went to school, but then you know how it is. Um, uh, how it is with kids? I mean, for me, it was like a play play time because shooting yeah. was like no studies, no homework, yeah. no going to school. So when I went to school, I was pretty, you know, low because I, you know how I mean. If you mm -hmm. you you schooling. then you have to be in that uh, you know in that mode but here yeah. it was like fun and games for me during shoot you know traveling and laughing enjoying meeting people and playing games mm -hmm. and uh, then suddenly i landed uh, with this uh, role in zamane ko dikhana hai well not suddenly it was uh, rishi kapoor chintu ji who kind of uh, saw me on the sets of insaf ka tarazu and he went and strongly recommended my name to nasir saab nasir hussain and okay. then i was uh, picked up by Nasir Hussain and then and then you know you know how this industry works the minute you're signed up by someone say oh definitely the oh she's now she's uh, you know doing leading lady, uh, lady yeah. role so let's take her on and then raj uncle signed me for prem rog and then bo saath then and so on so my last question was have you ever thought of making a new show based on the legacy of kolapuri and mangeshkar families something that would introduce the young generations of the rich history that your family has oh i haven't thought about it maybe priyank and the next generation of the mangeshkars mm -hmm. are like uh, you know they'll definitely like ashatya's granddaughters anai bosle yeah and priyank are very close so you never know i mean i'm sure they might do something like that because today's youth they are so talented and uh, technology has become so powerful i mean you know, Look at us right now. Yeah. So, can you sing something for us to this end? What do you want me to sing? Uh, yeah. Hum Hindustani. <laughs> yeah. Any of your favorite song, even from back then? Nahari the, nahari hai, ek dooji ki sahari hai. Hum Hindustani, aashna ke wo. सितारे हैं जो फिर से जगमगाएंगे फिर से मुस्कुराएंगे इस लम्हे को हराएंगे देख लेना somebody has commented on this on this uh, you know action of mine <laughs> thank you okay bye bye take care bye bye thank you thank you bye.